People are the Army's greatest strength and our most important weapon system. The Army delivers the most lethal and decisive land force in the world as part of the Joint Force. To be certain, the Army's modernization efforts are not just about new equipment. They must include the multi-domain operations concept at every echelon, the six modernization priorities, and a 21st century talent management approach based on decades of research and analysis in personnel management practices. The current personnel system is based on a 1947 model of a mass-produced, interchangeable, one-size-fits-all officer corps. In 1980, the Army moved to a rigid structure of year groups based on time and grade and established the up or out system, forcing removal or retirement of officers who are not selected for promotion. The industrial age model of the 1940s and 50s focused on developing a large number of interchangeable officers with an emphasis on standardized career models and rigid timelines. In fact, an officer from the 1950s would be very familiar with our current system for managing officers. An information age approach focuses on learning about the individual and taking their uniqueness into consideration for their development and employment with the intent of maximizing the contribution of every member of the Army. Simply put, better information about our people leads to better decisions about how we manage them in a way that recognizes everyone for their unique talents. Young men and women today want to be part of something bigger than themselves. They want to make sure they matter. They don't see themselves as interchangeable parts in an industrial age system. The foundation of the Army's ability to dominate in land combat depends on our skill to attract and manage the best talent, giving us a decisive advantage over future adversaries. Talent management encompasses acquiring, developing, employing, and retaining the Army's greatest asset, its people, to enhance readiness by maximizing human potential. The Army is moving out rapidly in four areas. First, the Army talent alignment process matches officers to assignments. This process empowers commanders and individuals to play a more active role in the assignment process. The foundation of a talent management system is a thorough understanding of the knowledge, skills, behaviors, and preferences of every officer in the Army. The Army talent alignment process, enabled by the software AIM-2, moves us forward dramatically to gather this information. Second, we are building a culture of assessments. The Army does not have a comprehensive assessment framework for officers. Talent assessments provide a common lens through which to identify an officer's knowledge, skills, and behaviors. The Army is developing prototypes and pilots to determine how to use assessments to gather data about officers' talents. Assessments provide the Army with better information for development, assignment, promotion, and selection decisions. Third, we are developing options that enable officers to have flexible career paths. Last, we are significantly modernizing the way we promote and select officers. In all of these endeavors, and with the nine new authorities granted by the 2019 National Defense Authorization Act, the Army has been given the flexibility to determine the characteristics of a future talent-based system. Talent management enables the Army to stay competitive, attract and retain our nation's best talent. Great organizations have the ability to make predictions about the future and enact the necessary changes before they're needed. Applying a soldier's talents where they're needed most gives the Army the agility to meet the challenges of 21st century warfare. The Army talent management approach will maximize the potential of the Army's greatest strength, its people.